Hi and welcome to this video on the clove hitch and also a round turn and two half hitches which is more or less the same knot. A clove hitch is basically just two half hitches if I pull this apart a little bit like this. It's basically just two half hitches so in Swedish it's actually called a double half hitch which I find a more appropriate name. And it's useful for touching ropes to run things. Um, for example, if you have a fender on a boat like this, if you want to touch. A fender is, um, what do you call it, an air-filled uh, bubble that you would put between boats so that don't, they don't bump into, into each other. Oh, English. So that they don't bump into each other. And for that, it's useful. However, it's not advisable for larger load because this tends to jam and then you, you can't get this out again, basically. So for higher loads, you should use a round turn and two half hitches, or several round turns and two half hitches. And I have no good experience of using too large different too large difference between the rope diameter and the pole diameter. I have a square piece of wood here, which is not what it's best for, but if you could imagine that if you have a really 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 big piece of rope um, so that this is almost parallel on top then this doesn't push down on the two here so if you have a really big piece that you're trying, trying to tie it into uh, compared with the, rope, with the rope this above doesn't exert any downwards pressure and thus does not lock the ends so it will more, uh, more likely slide. Uh, and similar if we have too small, uh, I have, I have uh, experience of it uh, working itself loose. Um, I cannot explain that though because it, I, I feel like it should put a lot more pressure but I have experience of that working itself loose. It might be because I usually use a bite so I usually do like that when I'm tying it. That might make a uh, make a problem when you have too large difference. So this knot, I'll just make us tie this quickly. This knot uh, you can also adjust somewhat while under uh, tension. So if you have tension here you can hold on a little bit here and then push through and then you can let go and then you can retrieve or you can similarly push, push, draw and then you can adjust uh, where you want the knot on the rope. So how to tie it? Well, you start, this is this is a Cub Scout way as some would call it. Start with making one loop like that and then you make one more loop. Then you kind of see this is, if you put all this rope on top kind of goes like a spiral upwards. So this part here is the top one. I would call the top one because it's above everything else. Then this loop goes under. Otherwise you would just end up with a spiral and that won't do because that's not a knot. You'll do like that and then you would up and end up with a clove hitch. Then you can thread this uh, on whatever. So make a loop, make a second one, identify which part is about, this is not, this is most under because this goes under, everything. this goes over everything, so this loop here goes under, and then you can thread this onto whatever. Like that. Okay, so what if you can't thread this uh, through uh, can't thread it over anything. Well then, you just simply have to make one round turn, cross, complete the second one, and then you can see you have kind of a uh, cross here that you just made. That's why over, cross, and then underneath the cross, like that. And then you have it. Do not go this way. That's another knot. That is completely other knot. 
I, this is also not, not there is a lot of variance to the same theme here, but this is a clove hitch. So that's what we're learning today. It's like that. So now, so this is clove hitch. That's how you tie it. Over, over, cross, underneath the cross, this way. Um, this knot, as all knots, rely on friction. But so when doing when doing this, you can um, you can refer to the Euler-Eutelwein equation, and it relates the tension of the two rope ends. So the tension here. Uh, if this is the loaded part, the tension here is equal to this, whatever, you get exponentially stronger uh, with the amounts of lap. That's that's basically what I was trying to say. You get expansion, exponentially stronger with the, each lap you do. So if you make one lap, you're, or if you make this and try to pull here, you're a certain amount of strong. You can you can hold a certain amount. Now that you made a double, double the laps, you're more than double strong. So if you make three, this you're really strong. I, I can't even actually do like that. And that's what uh, the cowboys in the movies uh, used their advantage when they're tying up the horse. They don't actually tie it up, they just throw the, the leash to the horse around. And this we make use as well in the round turn and two half hitches. So this knot, the round turn on two half hitches. Um, you use the tension here. You can have a really strong load here, but you can see I, I'm not even holding this. You go over, you make a half hitch, then you continue the same around, and then you make another half hitch. And in Swedish, this is actually called a double half hitch around itself, you can say. And as you can see, if you isolate this part here, this is actually a clove hitch. So that's why I have them in the same video, because it really is the same knot. So the, the real advantage of um, round turn and two half hitches, or even several round turns, you just stack them up to get exponentially stronger. And at some point it gets ridiculous, you don't even have to finish it off. Like that. And this, yeah, the, the real advantage, you can tie this under load and you can also untie it while under load. Um, so um, if you compare, for example, the bowline, this is a real advantage. If you have a really long rope as well, like just, this is common uh, when tying up boats. Um, if you have really long lines and you don't, you do not want to thread this entire thing through. You can just tie the entire thing with a bite. So you can do a half hitch and then another half hitch. Like that. And this will hold as well. Like that. Okay. So I think that was all. Thanks for watching and I see you in another video here at Knots and Ropes.